Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> sorry. Another day in the lift for all of you lift king people. <laughs> ah. Hello, we are back for another little session at the unit. I've got some dregs to take down with me and that's all I need to do today. So, that's what I'm gonna get done. Wow, that is wonky, bruh. Sheesh. So again, I forgot my Amazon bags again. And now we know how important they are to the move, but I think I'm just gonna fill a trolley today. I'm gonna fill a trolley. I've got some things that I need to take home that I need to go and hand deliver. I've had a sale on a lamp which needs to go which i actually forgot was still listed so they're lucky they managed to buy it so today i just need to get this as much of this on the trolley as i possibly can and that's it i need to take one of these cardboard boxes home i need to take one of these back because i've got a golf club that needs packing then the rest of it i don't care if it stays in here until the last day of the month that i need to leave so let me get that sorted out and on the trolley because it's not gonna do it itself, is it? Those stickers that I did a giveaway on, I've just used the packet to, to prop the stand up and it's reminded me, the person who won hasn't popped up yet. So if you can send me a DM or send me a comment on one of my Instagram posts, if you're not following me or if I'm not following you, so then I'll actually see it first and let me know you've DM'd. Yeah, this is the lamp sold for 129.99 i'm going to go deliver it locally but i was supposed to take this off my ebay store but because it's been here for the last week or so i forgot so they're lucky they got to buy it well, i can stay there for a bit my guy with the record decks i sent you a video but to be fair man they're not working very well so you're better off to not have them if i'm honest one of them needs a new Swinging arm, the other one needs, it's got a crack on the top bit there where the counterbalance is, just pointless. I need to get hold of my guy with the Batman mask. He's been after this for ages. It's still available, bro. I'll leave it out in case I hear from you. This is actually packing better without an Amazon bag, to be honest. That's all that's left. So, so the trolley's full. Can't overflow it because I need my bags. I'm stacking. So we're gonna get that back in the car, I think. See what I mean? That's quite a dodgy looking fucking trolley that is. That's probably asking for it. Just leave it in there for a bit. See you another day. I don't know how I'm gonna do this with this trolley. I'll give it a go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we have to start this and start it through here.
I feel like I'm being absolutely monkey there. I mean, that ain't bad. I'm going slow with this one, man. Ah, that's what I'm scared of. Something like that happening. Can't have that vase going. Someone stinks has been in there. That was nice and easy, weren't it? Right, let's go home. It's absolutely pissing it down, but I thought we'd go and take a little look in here and see if we can snag anything on the way home. Good morning, Good morning all. Good afternoon, or morning, whatever time it is. Something. They're my size, I might have to, you know. Hello. Hi, How are you? Do, you? do you mind if I look on that rail? Is that all right? How, yeah. How's things all right? Good. I'm in a buying mood, but I can't find anything. Well, I almost want to get them for the age of them. See, they could be big enough just to put somewhere above where I'm working or something in the garage. Two of them. One's been drilled through the bottom. Two fifty each. Mm. Oh, so that's obviously the one. I'm not even, you know. <laughs> nah, that's fake as piss. Only one that has to go out today, because I did loads of a day, is this Callaway, Big Bertha. Nothing special, needs a whole new grip, quite, you know, used up on the front there. Sold for £11 all in. That should only be like £2.90 to post. It's under £1.20 and it's under a kilo. But I am going away tomorrow. Emma's taking me, well, I'm driving, but Emma's taking me to Bournemouth, I think. We've got a hotel. We've got nighttime crazy golf booked. We're going to go to a few bars, I'm guessing, and then go back to the hotel and just enjoy some time away just us two we don't really get a chance to do that so it means i'm going to fall behind so even though i would normally end the video here i am going to go through some more sales so got quite a lot to do and i've got a few shout outs as well some people have bought some stuff who watch the channel which i massively appreciate so let's just move straight into that peak times just dropped my fucking dr pepper move it Right, start getting some of this shit out. In fact, I might just get what I need out actually. Yeah. Right, so, let me quickly show you what I picked up from the charity shop while I was in there. For eight pound, I'm hoping these are gonna be a personal cop. I'm hoping they fit. We've got some made in the USA from imported fabric polo shorts, eight pound. Quite spenny when you think about it, but they, are vibey, aren't they? I like them, really like them. 
So I'm hoping they fit. In fact, do you know what? Can I wait? No, I can't wait. I think we better close that garage door for a minute. That'll do. Got to pay extra to see what that camera can't see. Come on. Now, I've never seen the Polo made in USA from imported fabrics label before, ever. Never have I seen it. Never have I ever drink. Come on. They're size 35, which is a weird size. Ah, fuck, they feel massive. Oh, they're not though. Fuck me, I'm a fat bastard. They fit a dream <laughs> and they feel lush. Hey? Eh? Love them, love them, love them, love them. Love them, love them, love them. Love them, love them, love them. What is Mario's favourite kind of material to wear as clothing? Denim, denim, denim. Denim. <laughs> yeah, I bought them. They're a personal cop. So they fit and I'm very happy with them. What they're worth, no idea. But for £8 for a personal cop, no problem. For £4, we picked up this Laura Ashley, Lundy or Lund B, I can't work it out, Island jumper. Now, I picked it up because... Anything that has like a main brand and then like a subsection sometimes does well. Laura Ashley is a very good brand regardless. I saw it said Laura Ashley. I think it says Lundy, Lundy or Lumby Island. I think something like that. I saw that and thought definitely worth a look up. I've done some research and this little subsection brand, however you want to call it, um, it's selling for about 20 to 30 pound on certain items. So for four pound, worth a grab, weren't it? Little YSL Butte makeup purse. It was £1.25. That's from my shelves that I bought. I'm quite happy with those shelves. I'm going to probably put them up there somewhere. Or there. I'm not too sure. But they're going to be quite cool. For a fiver for the pair. Anyway, we'll get into them. Um, little YSL Butte. Butte bag. £1.25. Hopefully that comes off nicely as well. Ah, oh, shit. I wish these charity shops would get training into what you can and cannot stick on certain material items. Uh, no idea on the price. It's got to be at least a tenner, isn't it? At least. Could be worth a bit more. And these, again, I just saw the brand and thought Curve Appeal. They've got an elasticated back at the top. So normally with like um, elasticated waist, elasticated things like that, they're appealing to a certain comfort seeking person. So I thought I'll have a little research. And yeah, these are going for like 15 to 18 pounds some of them heat some of them reaching like 20 25 pound so curve appeal they were if i just pulled the label off four pound 50 they were so i'll list them for about 15 quid and just get them moved on and then for three pound each which is an absolute steal we've got these ikea bathroom mirrors three pound a pop i think i should be able to get 18 quid each on those without even doing too much research had a quick little look in the shop. Couldn't really find much. They are a 2015 release. There was another one that was loose for the same price, which was a bit weird, but whatever. And then, of course, my shelves. I picked up two of these. They are floating shelves, so you screw them in there and then pop the shelf on when you're done. Quite long. I'm six foot. So I'd say these are about three and a half foot, something like that. They will just go, hopefully, like up there or somewhere. So they're in keeping with the style. They'll go up there or somewhere. Johnny, you know I mean? maybe up there, whatever. Just somewhere out of the way to put a few extra things on. I'm not going to start stacking stuff that people send. Oh, maybe I will still. Because last time I was taking up loads of my shelf roofs with like bits and pieces, knickknacks people were sending me. Which is cool and always thoughtful. Just looked down and thought, I weren't wearing them shorts today. Yeah, it's because you just brought them. So yeah, cool little purchase they were. Five pounds for the pair. I think they're IKEA as well. I don't know. Who doesn't love a floater? Ew. Right, sales. There we go. I fucking love these shorts. Now, when I stand here, this shadow makes my bit. This is where my beard's at the greyest. And then you get out of that. I think I might actually put some just for men in it again. I might colour it again. I might. I might have to. I'm too young. Too young at heart to be this grey. And I've got nothing against like colouring your hair. It's just a fucking chore to keep doing it. It's the only reason why I don't do it all the time. It's just a chore. It's an effort. It's an ache. Right. Let me pick some stuff. 
Annoyingly, I still needed one of my golf shipping boxes. Beautiful. Annoyingly, I feel like this video is already way too long. And I haven't, I haven't done anything. All right, let's just get rid of that golf club quickly. <clears throat> So that one's done. Love this printer. As always, the link to the printer will be in the description down below because I think it's such a great printer. I'm a massive advocate for it. They're not sponsoring this video. Just like it. I think it's so easy. I'm a zebra fan, but I'm not a zebra fanboy. I know when something's good and when something's not, and this is good. Right, let me pick some orders and I'll come back to you finally. that's in the house and that's there okay no particular order whatsoever i've actually got a stack of stuff here now so i'm losing the plot let's move some stuff around eight pounds 99 all in this ikea ostrich thing whatever it is i think it's an ostrich what is it a stork these are the things that bring babies that's how babies are made eight pounds 99 free posters just in a bag and gone Another one of these brackets, they sold for £10.80, I think, this one. £10.80, yeah. We've got them up for 12 just sold them on an offer. £10.80, in a bag, slap a label on, out the door. They're very rugged. If that can't handle being transported like that, then I shouldn't be selling them. They're not fit for the purpose. They're supposed to hold up CCTV units. Love it. No wires, baby. I've got an Amazon bag opened up. I'm just whoop, launching them straight in there. Next up is a sale from the lovely Lisa. Lisa, thank you ever so much. I massively appreciate it. It's like a little trinket box, yin yang inlaid brass with stars. Really, really nice. And I said to Emma, if we had a coffee table, I'd be keeping that. So you got lucky, Lisa. Uh, I'm not going to say what the rest of the message says. <laughs> Innuendos, my favourite. Lisa, massively appreciate it. That sold for, I think, $8.99. Something like that. Nothing too expensive. On its way to you shortly, lovely. I've just looked. It was £11 in total. So £8 and 6 plus £2.94 post or something like that. Lisa worked it out perfectly so it could actually be a nice round number. And I was appreciative of that. I'm blue, dabba dee, dabba die. Whoa. Next up for £25 is these vintage Leicester City pennants. They're old, like 74 and 68 or something. 74 and 71. Yeah, they're quite cool. Really nice pieces. They are quite tatty, quite folded, quite... I've mentioned all this in the listing. It is what it is. They've gone overseas. They've gone to the United States of America. £25 and about 30 quid postage, I think. Something ridiculous. Now I've got to find a way to ship them out without bending them up too much. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe not that. Maybe if we do that, that'll go there. That should fold that way. And then what's left over there, maybe we could half that and then go like that and then like that. Bit of tape on that. In fact, I think I'll bag it to hold it up. A bag that will fit that perfectly. All right, perfect size. And that'll actually do, to be honest. Nothing wrong with that at all. Yeah, they paid, oh, £14 they paid postage. <clears throat> I'm just at the back end of my being ill. I, can, I feel a hundred times better. A hundred times. But there's just something a little bit lingering. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Vintage sale, Beastman absolutely battered. All of his legs are perishing and whatever else. 
Five pound on Vinted, just moved it on. Just moved it on, five quid. And the Nike Legacy cap that I picked up for five pounds saying if it wasn't worth at least 15 on eBay, then I wasn't gonna sell it, I was gonna keep it. But I managed to sell it for 10 pound on Vinted, so a nice double up and I got about what I would have got on eBay. And this has gone to Benjamin. He's got a YouTube channel called No Skill Present. Go and check him out, Benjamin. I appreciate the purchase, mate. This cap is sick. Kind of having a little bit of regrets right now, but we're moving on. Well, I've just noticed we've sold something else. I might as well do that while I'm here. This one. All right. Yeah, the crew Xbox 360, brand new and sealed, five pound on Vinted. Well, we've also sold Ginny Weasley's wand for six pounds all in on Vinted. And that is all the Vinted sales. Quite a cool little piece, actually. Nothing too spectacular. A six pound all in. Come on. Right, what is next? Ah, Steve. Big up, Steve. Steve's brought a few things off me before he has just purchased this Funko Pop. Uh, Marvel Zombies. I picked this up from Whatnot for about a tenner, I think. Had some credit to use. He's paid £13.59. So, although it cost me a tenner, it was referral credit. So, Steve, massively appreciate you as always, my friend. I don't know if he wants me to or not, but I'm going to put his Instagram up here. Go and give him a little follow. He likes all the cool shit in life. Appreciate that, my man. I really need to order some more bubble wrap. Preferably before I go away, so I actually remember to do it. I've got some more paper infill. That's in the house waiting to be changed over. I'm not affiliated, but I get all my bubble wrap from Kite Packaging because when you buy 100 metres, guess what? You get 100 fucking metres. Next up, we've got this NASA Space Plush. It's vintage from the 90s, I think. Can't remember exactly. I think it's an older one. Uh, by Jag, J A A G. They do a lot of different types of plush. Really, really nice. Really, really cool. This one was picked up by the Mr. Darren Gosney. Should I have said his full name? Yeah, I'm pretty sure everyone knows your full name. Daz, I massively, massively, massively appreciate you, bro. And he left a little note as well saying, keep smiling. Darren, I will always smile, my friend. Darren's been around since day one. One of my very first ever subscribers and followers. I think he was the very first person to buy something off me on Instagram, which I was like, oh my God, he trusts me. You know, it's a big thing to buy something off somebody from Instagram, PayPal, friends and family, bank transfer, whatever. But he did. And he's brought a few things off me before. And Darren's have been a day one. So Darren, I think it'd be a bit shit if I sent this space rocket on its own. So we're going to send him a little astronaut. Uh, can I Darren loves advertising and things like that. So Daz, we're going to send you this. Jaffa Cakes, little man. He's going to be on his way to you soon, my man. You keep smiling. Just sitting here thinking about it as well. And I think I actually can remember <coughs> what it was. Daz brought, my, my voice has gone really weird. <coughs> I think I can remember what it was Darren brought as well. I think it was Chrysler flags or something. We're going back four years now, maybe four and a bit years. I think it was Chrysler flags, something like that. Reseller Daz, let me know, bro. I think it was that. Pretty sure it was. Yeah. Missed the box on your one. Of course your one didn't go in. And for $17.99 all in, this Larissa Sea Salt shirt that I picked up for £4 from the back of the charity shop maybe a week ago, if that on its way out, straight away. Lovely, jubbly, baby. Then for £66.98 all in is this Sony Cybershot DSC W510. It's got panoramic view on it, so you can take a picture like you can on the iPhone, which is quite cool for a camera. This was one of the ones I was planning on keeping myself to do vlogging and stuff with, but again, like I told you, the iPhone is just so much better. Um, picked up a bunch of cameras from the car boot sale when I was selling last. I can't remember how much I paid, but it wasn't much. Some more from the Tomy Trackmaster bundle that I was doing. This sold for £8.99, all in, free shipping. This one is Emily and Tender motorised. Does work. Just moving stuff on, baby. That paper's almost run out. This is probably going to be a very long video. I'm dreading the edit because I've been to the unit. I've been to the charity shop. I've showed you the pickups. I'm showing you sales. I've got no idea how this video is even going to turn out, how I can tie it all together. But you know I'll work my magic, boys and girls. You know I'll work my magic. I'm only doing this because I'm going away tomorrow, like I said. Otherwise, I wouldn't bother. I'd leave them. None of them need to go out until, I think, tomorrow anyway. But I don't want to rush around, do I, when I'm going away. 
uh, Action Man bundle. I mean, it's all packed up. Can't really show you it. If I can remember, take a screenshot. I will. The vintage ones, a couple of legal eyes and some flocked hair. Sold on auction for £38.70 all in. Plus some postage, £4.50. So £43.20 all in. Lovely. Lovely, lovely. I'm not going to leave it in that box. That box is too small. You get one of these. A bit longer. Let the limbs rest. In that one there, the limbs were curling up on the edge. If that takes one little knock, it's going to snap them, isn't it? Whereas this way, there's plenty of room. Ah, I forgot I've got to drive to Reading still tonight because I need to drop that lamp off. I don't know if I'm going to release this video today or not. Because I think I want to record myself dropping off the lamp to that person. You know, so I've got some backup. Because apparently it's not going to him. It's going to that address, but it's, his cousin's going to be there or something. So normally on something like that, I'd get there and say, well, while you're here, I'd like you to put a picture into the message that we've got on eBay and say, item received, everything's okay. So there's proof that I've dropped it off. Emma's back now. Yeah, so if you ever have to go meet somebody, you haven't arranged local pickup, you just realise they're local enough for you to drop off. When you get there, get them to write in the message chat history, everything's fine. And because you, you can add pictures now, you can do that. Do you want to give it a check over first? Yeah, what's it's the table link, is it? Is it so I'm guessing it's a friend of yours or somebody who's ordered it through there. Cousin. Oh, that's what he said, yeah, yeah. But I've just done the drop off, recorded a nice video while I was there doing it, so there's no way of saying I didn't deliver it or anything. Um, and then he asked how much was it? I told him and he was like, oh, he didn't order it. <laughs> okay, my sweetheart, Mwah. love you. Love you, love you, love you. Yeah, I wouldn't drink it, it's probably yucky. Do you know what I did? I put it on my car to bring my stuff in and then when I closed the door, boom, it fell off. Bless her. So for 17 99 we've got this boxing DVD box set, brand new and sealed, a bit floppy on some of the packaging, but I think that was disclosed. Um, there was a, there's a note that says, hi Ricky, me and the missus love watching your videos. Keep on going. You've inspired me and my reselling journey and kept me going. Thank you for the box set. So big shout out to Stingy Resell Stuff. That's the eBay shop, Stingy Resell Stuff. Go and check them out. Thank you very much, man. Massively appreciate that, you two. Keep on going, keep plugging, keep buying low and selling high, and you will do just fine. Bye. Beautiful. Love this printer. George Ross must be making too much money. I've seen the man's story today saying, Team Zebra, as if to say, because they've reached out to him and asked him to do the sponsorship. Well, I think he's going to decline it because he's Team Zebra. I was Team Zebra when I bought it. And I still think Zebra's an absolute beast in the game. But it's still a £200 printer. No one says you've got to keep it or switch, George. Get the printer, do the review, sell it for half price. Do one of your subscribers a turn. Give them a nice £200 bundle for £100, whatever, 80 quid. Get that back, brother. Shit, I've just fucking... I've just put an extra bit of tape over there and taped over the address. Might have to blow that out. Luckily, my... Nebel screen is still just here. Yeah, George making too much money to, to be able to turn down sponsorship deals. Right, another bundle of Action Men now. Massive bundle sold for pennies, I think. What did it sell for? Let's have a look. Uh, sold for, oh, $17.99 plus $2.99 postage. It's going to weigh probably five kilos. Two on the dough. Two kilos on the nose in the bag. But I need to put it in the box. That's so going to cost me. About six quid to post it. Send it royal mail, you dickhead. No. No. Yeah, they're just like modern, I say modern, like 90s, 2000s action men. Nothing too fancy, but still cool. Next up for £12 all in was this Four Labs mug that I paid, I think, £1.54 or 75p from a charity shop not too long ago. Sold within a week of me listing it. Really, really cool. I like the design of it. Again, very Keith herring -y again. Just that kind of design, that aztec modern, graffiti-esque. I just love it. I just love it. What can I say? I've got a note saying, Hi there, many thanks for accepting the offer. One favour, could you please ensure it's well packed to avoid any damages? Of course, but I need to go inside and get my fucking void fill now. 
another box of void fill. It's not light and it's not cheap. It's like 36 quid that is. Every time I order that void fill without fail, I open it upside down. It doesn't sound like a big deal, but it is because you have to then push it all back in and turn it upside down. It's heavy, man. It's heavy. So we fill the insides. I'm going to wrap it around the handle as well and then do some layering on the outside. Probably going to have to double up one of these eBay boxes. Two boxes, I'll show you. Easy peasy. Easy to do. One box. Get off. There we go. So you get one box. I just take a box of the exact same size and slip it over. I mean, it's freaking self-explanatory, really. Then you get these little lines here where it starts to meet. You can make that the size of your box. There you go. Now the box is the size of that instead of being the size of that, which means I can void fill it correctly. Use up all the scrap card that's lying around to pad the edges to make it just that bit more protected. I'm happy with that. I actually replied to this customer and said, no stress, it will be bomb proof. Right, next, as some of you backstabbing, betraying bastards actually would have seen, I picked up a ring doorbell for myself, and then I picked one up for the mother-in-law, and at the time there was a deal where you could add an Echo Pop for a fiver, all right? So I did the deal. It was delivered, listed, and sold in the same day. £20.69 all in. I put it on Instagram. John Luke, oh, mate, didn't ask for your life story or something. And you all ran and liked it. Shroked his fucking curly-haired ego. Traitors, the lot of you. Traitors, traitors. Oh, I'm so angry. I'm not even pretending. I'm absolutely livid. Hey, giving John the credit. <laughs> and then, of course, the lamp that I've got to go and deliver later for 120 quid or whatever it is. And that just leaves two more sales, which I could leave till tomorrow if I wanted to. But I won't. We've got the ergonomic keyboard sold for 19.99 all in. Bit tatty, bit ratty. I mentioned that I put in the description. If cosmetics don't bother you, this is the keyboard for you. I think I literally put that as well. And then for £20.98 all in, the comfort curve, other keyboard, different sales, different people. Nice. I have got no idea where this video has ended up, how it's going to be, what's going on, what the crack is, I don't know. But I do know there was a lot of sales from people who watched the channel, so I do appreciate it. And of course, if you do buy something, leave me a note, whether it's just to say thank you or a shout out for your store, your Instagram, your eBay, whatever you want to do. Make sure you use that note section and then I'll know. Because if you buy stuff without leaving me a note, I don't, I don't know, do I? I'm just going to class it out. So massively appreciate you. One love to one and all. And I'm going to get all this stuff shipped off now. I've still got to unload the car before I can do that. And then I can concentrate. I'm just having a nice day with my missus tomorrow. Take care. Love you all. Bye. Like and subscribe.